Hey guys and girls, God bless you all. Thumbs up from me as usual. Welcome to my Daryl Love Festival Survival Channel. I thank God for the grace. And in today's video, it's all about the Go Bag 72 Hour Plus. Uh, if you watched the last video, it was called the Go Bag Essentials. Basically, that was a relatively lightweight kit. This is a bit more, a uh, bit more of an extensive kit. I'm going to guesstimate at the moment. I'll show you later on how much it weighs. Otherwise, I'll leave the information down below. And basically, this is the 72 hour plus. Okay, it's the, the Go Bag 72 hour plus. It's for urban, suburban, and rural. And today's video, I'm going to be using in this kit. As we've gathered already, I like putting kits together, I like changing them around, I like experimenting. Basically what I'm showing you is different configurations, different kits, different setups. My channel is about bug out bags and survival, music, all, of, all types of things. If you've just seen the trailer that I've just put down previously, you'll see a little bit more about what the videos are about, my uh, videos are about. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to talk to you a bit about this um, Viper Special Ops bag right there. And that's the 35 litre um, bag, okay? Just bear with me. Okay, guys and girls. Um, basically, this is the Viper uh, Special Ops bag. It comes with a couple of really good shoulder straps. Um, very, very good shoulder straps. On the front, I've just got a climbing carabiner. Heavy, really heavyweight uh, locking carabiner there. It does come with some waist straps, padded. Really good buckles. Uh, sternum strap right there and it does have two compression straps on either side okay guys and girls um, yeah so basically at the bottom here at the bottom of the bag I've got a Z mat still in its packaging brand new and basically I like these I like this better than the rolls because the rolls are a bit harder a bit longer to uh, roll up and this Z, uh, Z mat is actually quite easy to to put fold up and put away all right, guys and girls. Right, just on the outside of the bag, I've got some giant zip locks uh, right there in in the molly. It's got molly on the sides, molly on the front. Okay, on the front, I've got a couple of D locks uh, with a bit, a couple more uh, zip zip, uh, zip ties right there. Now, this bag has got a front pouch for your maps and and essential books, uh, thin books and stuff like that. It's got a middle compartment, and it's also got a main big compartment okay guys and girls so you kind of got a big main big compartment you've got a middle compartment and then you've got a front compartment okay guys and girls right on the outside I just got a couple of glow sticks two of those ready to go and I've got one of these little cups right there basically for for my, for my dog Sam all right guys and girls so that's that's about it for the bag um, oh the only other thing I've got here on the front, I've got a little bag here with a 10 meter rope in there, climbing rope. Um, it's got the, it's certified for climbing, rescue, and it does come with a couple of really good carabiners in there as well, locking as well. All right, guys and girls, so that's the bag that I'll be using for this kit. All right, let me just put it back in its place. All right, so just bear with me, guys and girls. And on the outside, uh, in this bag here, I keep a um, waterproof bag for the actual bag itself, okay? And I've just recycled a bag that I had bought something else in and I put the, the, the waterproof uh, cover in for this bag. Alright guys and girls, um, another thing quickly, right here I've got a couple of rubbish bags, very heavy duty, a couple of mil, and I've got two of those just to put on the floor if I want to put my stuff on it and stuff like that guys. So bear with me and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay guys and girls, moving on. Basically I've got the, the 900 gram snug pack sleeping bag right there. This is the Merlin 3. Uh, recently done a review on that. Below that I've got the Army Basher in this nice waterproof pouch right there. Comes with the bungee cords in there and I've got paracord all ready to go. And down below here is a poncho. I'll just quickly show you that. I recently got this for the kit. Basically, I can use this for loads of different things. Make a shelter. I can use it as a rain jacket, obviously. And it covers my backpack as well. I can use it as a ground uh, tarp. And uh, just covering my stuff, waterproofing my stuff. And that's basically the shelter. 
Okay guys and girls, moving on. Obviously you're going to need some kind of first aid kit. And basically this is a first aid kit and it's also a trauma kit. Okay, so you've seen this kit before. I've not opened it up but you've probably seen it in my last video. But like I said, I'm just giving you guys ideas of different ways to set up your kits, different bags, different things to carry. Okay, uh, obviously a little um, Mylar blanket. A new addition to my kits, guys and girls is I've got this stuff, this is basically tattooing cream and it numbs the area so if you've got a really bad injury maybe you've got to sew yourself up, maybe you've got to stitch someone up and this cream, right guys and girls, really good stuff basically will give you, you know, it will, it will numb the area that you want to work on and I, I thought to myself, why not get this it does come in a little tube about £2.50, between £2.50 and £3.00 and I thought that would be a good addition to my kit, just giving you guys ideas. Tattooing cream, basically what you do, you put it on the area that you want to work on. Okay, if you've got a cut there, you leave it on there for a while, 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever. Maybe an hour or two, and then basically you'll be able to stitch yourself up and you won't feel the pain. Okay, guys and girls? So you can look into that, I thought that would be a good idea. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, moving on. Right here I've got a folding mat, I can use this for, for kneeling on, sitting on, I can even maybe use this as a little makeshift pillow, put something else with it just to just to put rest my head on, that's a little carry more folding mat right there. And within this little bag right here I've got a couple of uh, dry sacks, this is the medium sized one, I do believe this is about 15 litre, and this orange one I think is about 5 litre. Okay, so basically in here I put my clothing. In this one here, I put the first aid kit, uh, any electrical stuff like that, any batteries. Okay, guys, moving on. Carrying on, okay, guys. Basically, I've got my little ham radio right there. If you want to listen to what's going on, you want to call someone up, try and get some help, emergency help. Okay, it comes with a docking station right there. And I do have the charging cable and the headphones. Just bear with me. Put the headphones in here and the charging cable and the CD. Okay guys and girls, I uh, haven't got my ham radio uh, license yet, but in an emergency situation you won't need that. Little user's manual right there guys and girls. This is a good bit of kit. Within here I've got uh, some, some AA batteries, um, Duracell, and basically this will be, in case my, my, my power dies on the uh, radio, I've got this as a backup, okay? And got a little pouch for that. Alright guys and girls, this takes, I, think, I believe it's about 6, 8, uh, double-A batteries in here okay that's just to back up my radio and again if for emergency situations just an armband alright guys and girls okay guys so this is my BK9 you might have seen this I've done a review on this if you want to scroll down in my videos and look for the BK9 basically uh, what I normally keep in here is my uh, Leatherman Wave but what I'm going to be doing from now on I'm going to be putting my uh, Fork and even, DC3, right there, sharpening stone, double sided, and basically I'm going to be adding this to the K bar, basically I'm going to put it within the pouch right there, okay guys and girls, just some more ideas, okay, I used to have the, 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 the Leatherman Wave, I may still put the Leatherman Wave back in there with this, okay, and just on the side here, just got a couple of little, uh, just a couple of throwing darts, okay guys and girls, or picking your food, Alright guys and girls, just a couple of those. And the BK9, fantastic bit of kit. Loads of reviews on YouTube. Check them out. Alright guys, comes with a not a bad sheath. Okay, moving on. I've got the, the Clarius. This is the XT GT Clarius. 1600 lumen. Fantastic bit of kit. It's got the strobe light. It's got the emergency lights there. Very powerful torch. Got the strobe lights, sorry about that guys. Really, really bright light. Different modes, got loads of different modes. Check out the Clarius XT GT. I did do a review on that. Comes with a fantastic pouch. And within this little container right here, basically what I've got is I've got a spare battery for the Clarius, the charger, a little O-ring right there. And basically I found this little case in the shop uh, Highlander and I got it for a pound believe it or not brand new brand spanking new 
and I thought it would be a great place to put my little accessories for the Olight, including the, uh, excuse me, not the Olight, the Clarius, uh, including a spare battery in a nice little case, fully charged, ready to go, okay? Okay, guys and girls, and just a DC stone, okay? DC3, that's the Falkenhaven DC3 stone right there. Okay guys and girls, let me just move the camera slightly to your left, okay, just bear with me. This is my Black Diamond 350 lumen Stormlight, fantastic bit of kit. I'll bring this with me in this particular kit as well. Basically got a load of spare batteries and I've also got the Viper uh, Express pouch. And just over to your right, that is the little Princeton Tech headlamp, it's back up. And it's got the little clip there to help you put it onto your strap, your head strap, okay? So basically this storm headlight, it's got a blue light, red light, green light, a dim switch, white light, fantastic bit of kit, loads of reviews on YouTube, please check them out. Okay guys and girls, so yeah, as you can see I've got loads of batteries there, but I do have uh, the little O light as well, I'll be showing you as well, a little, little small one in another little kit. But this basically is the, the headlamp. Okay guys, moving on, basically my Leatherman Wave, loads of you have seen that before, I always take this with, with different kits, okay, it's very modular, you know, uh, like I said, I'm just giving you guys some ideas, and uh, in this kit, the 72 hour Go Bag Plus, uh, I'm going to definitely take the Leatherman Wave, and in addition, uh, is the SE Izula Knife, fantastic bit of kit, comes with its own little sheath, nice bit of kit that and a little lanyard and a whistle on there as well guys and girls okay moving on okay guys carrying on with the video uh, basically I've got the Viper side modular pouch this does come with a shoulder strap as well but I put it inside the pouch here today fantastic bit of kit this is the Viper uh, side pouch water bottle pouch it's also modular Okay, as well as the med pouch is also modular. On the side here, got a straw. Okay, and uh, I'll show you what I keep in here. Basically, down the bottom of the bag, I've got a bowl. You use that for loads of things: uh, shaving, drinking water out of boiling water, whatever you want to use a bowl for. Okay, I've got a little long uh, spoon for the food. Okay, I've got the clean canteen, 42 ounce. And I've also got the GSI mug right there, guys and girls. Okay. Now, to go with that, I've got a little brew kit. Just some sugar, uh, sugar and some tea bags. No milk in this kit. Uh, so sugar and tea bags. A couple of sachets of hot chocolate. And some zero uh, electrolytes. Okay, I've got three packets of those. So that's what goes in the side water modular pouch okay guys this is a solid fuel stove with the tablets in there ready to go and that will also go in the water bottle pouch in the front compartment okay and that is by Jilla right there that go in the, in the Viper water bottle pouch in the front pocket Okay guys, I've got a basically here, I've got an IR light, an extra long one, um, I do believe that's around about 15 inches, okay, glow stick, but this is the 8, eight hour infrared, okay, just in case I don't want to be seen by some people, but I do want to be seen by other people, got the instructions and stuff, I've just kept it in here, you know, my friend David would probably say to me, why don't you take it out of the wrapper, but anyway, God bless you all. Right, and I've got a couple of carabiners right there, got a couple of locking ones and a couple of other non-locking ones, okay? And uh, basically they, they usually go on the outside of the, the bag, which I'll put together later on. But basically, moving on, I just want to show you what's in this kit. Okay guys, now in here, in this little bag here, I've got a windshield. I should have showed you that together with the oven, a uh, little stove, excuse me. And basically in here I've got a spare little spoon. Okay guys and girls, spare spoon, I've got two of these in this kit, just in case I lose one, two is one, one is none. 
Alright guys and girls, so this is basically a windshield for the stove, okay, and basically in this bag right here, I've got my little Sawyer Mini, in here I've got the, the, the bottle for the Sawyer Mini, the syringe, the straw, and I've got loads of water purification tablets in there, I've also got the red ones as well that do uh, a lot more than just one litre, these are the one litre ones, and the red ones do I believe, uh, I think they do around about 25 25 litres or 15 litres, something like that, but they don't just do one. So the blue one's one litre and the red do a lot more. Okay, so basically in here, that's my Sawyer Mini. Okay, guys and girls. And one of the, and this is just basically a carrying water bag. Alright, this is a pilot's vest, survival uh, pilot's vest, SAS style. It rolls out and it and it's got about... Uh, two to three litres of water carrying capacity there and basically right here I've got a mill bank all right loads of you out there probably know what a mill bank is you go to a river you just whack the whack it straight in that takes out the big debris the leaves and the twigs and bits and bobs okay guys and girls so basically I keep all the water kit in that red dry sack right there okay guys Okay guys and girls, basically down here I've got a spare phone, 7 inch crowbar, a good compass, always good to have a good compass as well as the one I've got on my watch right here. Okay, I've got a good compass there, and this kit I'm going to bring a crowbar, an extra phone, and this you've probably seen in the video, the last video, okay, which was the go bag essentials, I will be bringing a little uh, commando wire, little saw, wire saw, and it does have... A little pad, a uh, little handcuff key right there. Okay, guys and girls, just in case I need to free myself or free someone, always handy to have. Okay, guys, moving on. Okay, here I just have some binoculars, a really loud whistle right there, a little signaling mirror with a little whistle on there, and it does have a compass on there, which surprisingly works. And right here I have a face shield. So this kit I'll bring with this uh, particular kit as well. Okay guys and girls, here basically have a army issue fleece um, microfiber towel right there. Okay, it comes with a nice little pouch. I've kept it in the packaging just to keep it extra protected. Okay, so that's a nice green one, olive green. A couple of packets of tissue. A little washcloth, you've just put some water on it and it expands out. Basically here you've got a couple of smaller little towels here, they just put a couple of drops of water on them and they expand out quite large. A bandana, so I'm going to bring a bandana in this kit. Okay guys, within this, this larger bag right here, I've got loads of things in here. Toothbrush, toothpaste, razor blade, got some wash and shampoo, insect repellent, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, some chapstick over here, some talcum powder, and um, what else do I have in here? Let me turn it around so I can see uh, cotton wool buds, nail clippers, basic stuff that you'll need for your... So this is a bigger hygiene kit than in the previous bag I showed you. Okay guys and girls, so moving on. Okay, something else I will include in this kit. Um, my BCB mini mess box, I did do a video on this. Okay guys and girls, uh, so if you want to check out the full contents of this, just scroll down. And check it out guys and girls now this is the Viper operators pouch sorry for banging the video slightly there and I've actually changed it uh, let me just zoom out a little bit guys and girls just bear with me okay for those of you that have seen the full video of this basically I've took out a few things uh, just to make it like a little bit lighter and basically it's got the old light in here it's got the little stash lighter here it's got a little pen, a little sharpie, a little mirror. I did do a video on, if you go scroll down and check out the Viper Operator's Pouch uh, E&E &E, Escape and Evade Kit. Um, basically you can see the full contents. Um, but I'm always changing my kits. I just want to give you guys ideas. This kit is the, um, the Go Bag 72 Hour Plus. Okay, and basically within this bag I've got a couple of flash drives. Uh, I've got a little poncho, black poncho in there as well. Uh, I've got some uh, cotton sewing thread right there, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a uh, sewing kit. Got a sewing needle in here, a couple of razor blades, 
some Gorilla Tape in there, little pencil, uh, little tweezers, and some little Write in the Rain paper right there. Okay, in small little, cut them in small little sizes, ready to go if I want to leave notes anywhere. And here I do have the Vitality Straw, if you can make it out right there. That's the Vitality Straw. So yeah, guys, it's always good to just, you know, update your kits. I'm basically, I'm just giving you ideas, okay? And I've got one of those little things in here. You can, I've got some money in this one, okay? One of these little things in here. I've got 20 pounds in here. And I do have a little monocular right there, okay, guys and girls? So basically, this is the Viper pouch. Lovely bit of kit. You can you can put it on your belt uh, if you want to just grab and go. Grab this and go. It's got a few little things there that will keep you going. Okay, torch, lighter, little mirror, like I was saying. Okay, guys and girls. But it's not as extensive as the one I've done on my video section. Okay. So, okay. I don't want to bore you with showing you the same old stuff. But the point is, I just want to show you different setups and different configurations. And this is what I'll put in this particular kit. Okay, guys and girls. Moving on. Okay guys, right here I have some wild elk paracord, it's got the little se seven strands inside, really handy, and in this bag I've added some, uh, in this kit I've added some jute twine, in a little baggie right there, okay guys and girls, there's about a good, good hundred feet right there, of jute twine, loads of uses, shelter building, start fire, and just repair work, general re repair work, okay guys and girls, little storm proof matches, and these are really good these are really good ones survival matches okay wind and waterproof and a 25 in this little kit little ferro rod okay and basically in here I've got a, like a little fire kit cotton wool balls lighter jet fuel lighter another one of these little towels that you just throw water on and some fuel okay guys and girls just moving on to the next bit Hey, by the way, guys and girls, I just wanted to tell you that music is Mahalia Jackson, probably one of the best gospel singers ever of all time. Fantastic gospel singer, and uh, just wanted to tell you that. And uh, she's got a great voice, and um, she's very talented. And uh, yes, guys, moving on. Right here, I've got a little Viper baseball cap. Okay, I do have the grey version. Those of you who've been going along, following along with the titanium uh, theme. You would have seen that I've got a grey version of this, and I'm actually be coming to show. You, I'll be showing you a bit later on in this video. Um, I've got the other, the black kit as well as I've got the titanium kit. So I've got the clothes in all in black as well. So moving on for now, I've got the black snuddy. Like I was saying, I've got all the kit. Black snuddy, loads of uses for that. Of course, the shamar. You've got to have your shamar, guys and girls. All right, hundreds of uses for a shamar. So in this particular kit, I'll be adding an extra pair of goggles. As you saw in the last video, uh, if you didn't check out the last video, please go down in the video section and check out the uh, Go Bag Essential, okay, for London, UK. This is the Go Bag Essential, but plus, this is the Go Bag 72 Hour Plus, okay. So within here, got goggles, face mask, uh, dust masks, a couple of those. I've got a bandana, black bandana. And I've also got a couple of ear protectors, okay, in a nice little pouch. Moving on. Basically, you've seen these, the Viper gloves, fingerless gloves. And I've got another pair of gloves that I'll show you in a little bit to go with these gloves, okay. They won't be the same as the last video, but I'll show you what I've got that will go with these gloves, okay. A bit more protection. All right, guys and girls. Moving on to the next segment. Okay, guys, now we're going to come, over, come on to some food. And as it's a 72 hour plus go bag, go bag 72 hour plus, in this particular kit I'm going to be putting some mountain house food. Okay, I've got some chicken korma curry at the top there, 564 calories. I've got some potato salmon and dill sauce right there, 609 calories. And below that I've got some spaghetti bolognese, which is 655 calories. Okay, guys and girls, I definitely want to be having a hearty meal in the evenings okay with some calories a couple of snacks over here and some um, porridge oats for the morning three of those got some Heinz soup okay a couple of beef jerky over there got some electrolyte drinks chocolate and in addition to this kit I'll also have some sports beans just bear with me guys okay portable power 
nice bit of kit right there and this is also electrolytes vitamins B and C okay in the form of some sort of sports beans nice little little treats as well okay guys and girls okay a couple of cliff bars and a little goo gel energy gel this is fantastic nice little sachet little pouch kind of a goo gel really good energy gel okay with caffeine alright guys and girls not encouraging the drinking of caffeine but in an emergency situation always good to have and a couple of sachets of salt and this is what I feel for you guys some love okay sending you guys some love God bless you all alright some love hearts alright some little you know just moral, moral morality booster there okay moral booster okay and that's the food section for the go bag 72 hour plus okay uh, as you know I always take my Bible with me this is the New Testament 1611 spare set of reading glasses right there okay and it comes in a nice little container SAS survival handbook I'll bring this kit uh, this book with me in the 72 hour go bag plus go bag 72 hour plus right in the rain paper notepad okay right here I have a glow stick in there and I've got a little pen in there, a little sharpie, a little pencil and that all comes in a nice little waterproof pouch right there guys and girls okay so this is some um, couple of new additions for this kit that you didn't see in the last kit so moving on to the next segment okay guys and girls I think the next song is going to be apt for this for this particular segment in this bag when the saints go marching in okay guys I want to be in that number do you want to be in that number when the saints go marching in guys and girls I just want to just say quickly I appreciate you all um, all my subscribers I can't I can't say them all now because there's not enough time uh, people like Robert David Robert Sapa um, my good friend awaken to truth junior uh, P from down there you know who you are P okay little thumbs up to you I hope everything's okay with everyone of my subscribers Susanna music all my subscribers please don't think if I don't mention you I do think about my 157 per subscribers I just wanted to say a quick shout out are you gonna be part of the Saints that go marching in against evil right speaking of marching in you've probably seen these before I've had these in the go bag essential and yes I will put these in the the go bag 72 hour plus kit that's the Solomon XD GTX um, Gore-Tex basically lightweight 575 grams 570 grams excuse me in this pouch right here I've got a thermal set I've got the bottoms the top and a spare pair of socks okay guys and girls so that's basically a little bit more clothes section and yes these shoes will definitely be coming with this kit like I said guys I'm just giving you ideas to set up some of the stuff you've probably seen okay I don't want to bore you guys I just want to show you a different setup a different conf con uh, configurations and basically I will include you know this kits I mean kits always evolve kits always change it's always good to go through your kits all the time and just to just to see what works and what doesn't work okay guys so this is like a laundry bag and in here I've got the thermal set and a spare pair of socks okay see you on the next segment when the Saints go marching in amen okay guys and girls moving on uh, we've got my little black hawk belt right here I'll bring that in this kit, always handy to have, and I do have the rope this in this kit. So basically, if I want to do any ascending, descending, I've got this. This is the Black Hawk uh, Riggers belt, really strong bit of kit. It can hold up to 5,000 kilos of weight. So if you want to use this to pick someone up or pick stuff up, or you know, very practical. If you want to get rescued, you've got one of these as well. Okay, guys and girls. Right now here. This is the large utility pouch, okay, it's the Viper large utility pouch, Molly compatible, you can put it in your belt, carry it on its own. I will be doing a video soon with just a little survival kit in this bag. I think it's a fantastic bag and I've been meaning to do a video with this bag for a long time and basically I'll, I'll get round to it, okay, guys and girls, as soon as possible. And I'll show you what I've got in here. Okay, just bear with me. Right, little wrist, little something for your wrists, just to give you a little extra protection on your wrist. You can use it on either one, left-handed or right-handed. Just got one of those. Okay. Um, okay. This is a little NBC nuclear biological chemical facelift. 
Okay, something's better than nothing. And basically you can put this under your shamag and uh, try and protect yourself from any uh, nuclear, biological or chemical attacks. Okay guys and girls, moving on. Um, right, I did say to you earlier um, about the gloves. Now, in, in the going essential I had these wool fin gloves right here, but in this kit I won't bring these along. What I'll be doing is I'll be bringing these ones along, okay? These, although these are nice for winter, what I'm going to do for protection, I'm going to bring these. These are basically anti-slashing gloves. Now, um, I will be getting some other gloves soon, so watch this space. And to do with anti-slashing, my friend David told me about some gloves. I did know about them turtle skin gloves, but it's quite expensive. But I will do a video soon, so watch this space. Basically these are anti-slashing gloves and I'll combine these with my uh, with my tactical um, gloves. What I'll do is I'll just basically combine these two together and that will give me some really good protection. Okay guys and girls and little beanie. Okay you've got to have your beanie with the cap. I've got the Viper cap. But I'll also have that as well, just in case, because winter is coming. All right, guys and girls, moving on. And uh, Mahalia Jackson's an amazing singer, guys and girls. And I do like listening to your voices as well, guys. Okay, Rob, God bless you, Robert. You guys have got a soothing voice. You guys, when I watch your videos, Gaz, outdoors as well. Spearing outdoors, Gaz, the chef. Uh, basically, these are Viper knee pads. Okay, to give you extra protection if you're running around. So in this particular kit, I will bring these Viper knee pads as well. And one more thing, last but not least, I've got a folding shovel right there. Okay, guys and girls, little folding shovel, really fantastic bit of kit. If I've got to dig a trench, dig a hole, okay, make a shelter, make a fire pit, I've got this as well. Okay, guys and girls. So yeah, this this. This pouch is a fantastic bit of kit, okay guys and girls? So like I said, watch out for the video that will be doing a little survival kit just in this large modular pouch. Okay guys, moving on to the next segment. Oh, guys and girls, sorry to be flashing the lights, but I just wanted to show you this fantastic light as well that I'll be bringing in this particular kit. This is the Thorfire, okay? I think it's about 100 lumens actually, quite powerful. For its size, it's a solar light, it's got the solar panel on the bottom there, and basically that folds down rather neatly, okay guys, and or you can have it like that, little light at the top, you can have it as a little handheld torch, let me just close it properly guys and girls, just gets a bit used to, you have to get used, to, there you go, you have to get used to using the gadgets, got a nice little handle right there, you can hang it up in a tree, okay, so you can get charged up at the top here, and the fantastic thing about this, let me just show you the, the, the couple of different things it's got there. It's got three modes. It's got a uh, high, excuse me, low, high, and it's also got the flashing. And basically on the side here, it's got a little USB thing here and a little charging port right there as well. So you can actually charge up your, your bits and bobs, what you want to charge up. Perhaps you can charge up your walkie-talkie, your little ham radio. Um, if you run out of power, you've got the docking station, the ham radio, I've got that in this kit. And this probably can charge up um, the, the, my phone, which I've got a spare phone and my other phone. So this is, I thought this would be a fantastic little addition to the Go Bag 72 hour plus. Okay guys and girls. And what I'll do, uh, let me just show you the charging cable as well that it comes with. Just in case, I do have two of these in this kit. Two is one, one is none and all that stuff this is the Thor fire okay camp light okay with a solar charger charging dock there on the side and the little solar panel at the top there and what I'll do is I'll put it on flashing mode and then just lit and, and then just end this section and move on to the next section guys and girls okay guys and girls moving on basically what I've got here is I've got the um, the battle belt battle belt, the Viper, as you've gathered I do like the Viper stuff and it's all got the molly on the, on the all round 
Okay, it's got the attachment there as well. If you want to attach it to your vest, if you want to attach it to, uh, it's got a yoke that comes with it as well, or you have to buy it separately. Okay, there's another one right there. Really good buckles, very strong. Like I said, it's got the molly all round. So basically, what I'm going to do with this, and basically, because it's a bigger kit, okay, let me just zoom out a little touch, guys and girls. Okay, that's as much as it'll go. Just bear with me. Basically, what I'll do is because this kit's a bit heavier. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to use this as a waist belt. I'm going to attach this to the bag, which I'll be showing you a bit after. I'm going to attach this with the existing straps that are on the, the Viper Special Ops bag. And I'm going to just slip them through there and have this. Okay, and then we're going to put a couple of additions on the outside of the bag as well that are easily, you know, available. Okay, so basically this is another part of the kit. And I'll be putting this... Uh, I will be doing another video soon with a kit that I've got for this as well, so please watch this space. Um, I have shown this before, so if you scroll down and look for the Viper Battle Belt, you'll see that, you know, I was talking about the different configurations yet. Um, different configurations, and uh, basically what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a video soon and showing you um, what, what I'll do in, in just the Battle Belt Emergency Kit, okay? Alright guys and girls, so basically there you are. Catch you in the next bit. Alright guys, thumbs up from me. I'm getting there, slowly but surely. So bear with me. What I'm going to be doing, I'm actually just going to just go over to over there and show you basically what I've got is I've got the Elite Jacket. This is also the Elite Jacket. I've got the Titanium Jacket in Titanium colour, but I've also got the Jacket in black. Okay, so this is the Elite Viper Jacket. Really good bit of kit, loads of pockets. Uh, pockets on the shoulders, okay. It's got the pockets on the side, it's got a pocket on the chest right here, okay. It's got another pocket here, and it also does come with another pocket on the sleeve, which I thought was really handy if you want to put things like your compass or your GPS system right there, guys and girls, okay. Moving on, on the inside of the Elite jacket, I've got the, uh, the, the operator's fleece, which I've also got in titanium. Okay guys and girls, so if you just scroll down in my videos and look for, I think I do believe it's going titanium number 10, okay, and you can see the full titanium clothes, and I've actually got the exact same, but all in black, okay, so this is the operator's fleece, I've got the contractor pants right here, contractor tra cargo trousers, fantastic bit of kit, and all this gear is all self uh, dry, uh, dr uh, quick drying, that's why I got it, it's also lightweight, and it's also quick drying. So like I was saying, I've got the trousers, the cargo trousers right there. And just bear with me guys and girls. Here I have the, um, the, the, the mesh tech uh, t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, which is also uh, quick drying. It does come with a nice zip and a nice little protector right here so that you don't zip up your chin accidentally. All right, and I've actually got the tactical t-shirt here with the pockets on the shoulders right there. Okay, you've got two pockets on either shoulder. Okay, guys and girls. So basically, it's a tactical t-shirt, the mesh, the Viper Mesh Tech t-shirt, and I've got exactly the same kit as that. Okay, just bear with me. See if it's in the video. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I've, I've got the exact same kit as this, but in titanium colour. But I've got the exact kit here as well in black, and this is what I'll be wearing. And I'll put it all in a separate bag to go with the bag, which I'll be showing you shortly as well. Okay, so moving on to the next segment, guys and girls. Thanks to the guys that are following on. Thumbs up for me. And you can see my lion in the corner there. Incidentally, this picture of the lion right here, this was the lion that was actually in Regent's Park Zoo. Uh, it's not the one that attacked the guy who climbed over the fence, but anyway, this is a picture of that lion. I don't remember his name at the moment, but I'll see you in the next segment, guys. Okay guys and girls, I've just finished packing it, putting it all together, weighing it. Um, the actual Spec Ops uh, bag comes in at 18 kilos. The green bag to your right weighs 2.2 kilos. Okay guys and girls, uh, it's quite a heavy kit, it's not a light kit. I've also got the boots down there. So, uh, you know, fantastic pair of boots right there. 
These weigh 570 grams. And basically, the purpose of this video was just to show you uh, different configuration, different bag, different setup. It's always good to play around with your kits, find out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Uh, got the K bar uh, BK9 at the side there. Right there, guys and girls. And uh, just got a few bits and bobs on the outside. Like I said, because it's a heavy kit, I've added the the battle belt, which is a really, really well padded belt. And because it's quite, you know, it's not a lightweight kit. I mean, in total, let's let's add it all up. Okay, 18 kilos. The big pack there. 2.2 there. That's 20.2. And plus the 570. So what we got? Okay, we got 20, uh, 18, 20.2, 20.7, 70. Okay, let me just say that again. 18, 2, 20.2, 20.7. Um, hang on, let's get this straight. 18 kilograms plus 2, 20, 2.2 kilograms, 2.75. So 2.75 kilograms, 20.75 kilograms, pardon me, and it's quite an extensive kit. This has been the Go Bag 72 hour plus, urban, suburban, rural. Okay, obviously when you get your clothes on, you can take some of this gear and put it in your in your clothes, your cargo pockets, your other pockets in the jacket, and you can put the belt on as well. Just have a smaller kit. I mean, this is just basically get out of dodge, get out of the bad situation. And there's always there's, there's there's plastic bags in here, the big industrial type bags. If you want to lighten the load, once you find a little base, once you find somewhere to just you know hide yourself or you know a little base camp, you know you can take off the majority of the kit and you've got the belt there, so you don't have to lug this big weight around. Okay, so thanks for the, watching the video, guys and girls. God bless you all. If you want to leave a comment down below, please do so. If you want to like, share, subscribe, please do so. Um, take care out there. Just, just giving you more ideas. Watch this space. I've got more videos coming soon. And um, if you want to make any comment, any things you want to say, like what, what to take out of the kit, what shouldn't be there, or any other ideas, but um, please just you know leave a little comment down below. Okay, guys. It's quite an extensive kit. It's not a lightweight kit, but you know, I'm doing. I'm just showing you different kinds of kits, guys and girls, from lightweight kits to re relatively heavy kits, you know, and everything else in between and even above. I'm going to be doing another kit soon in the future, near future, with an even heavier kit than this, guys and girls. I mean, there's some guys out there that are lugging 120 pounds. You know, you're looking at 50 plus kilos. Um, so there you have it thumbs up from me god bless you all thanks for coming to the channel i look forward to seeing you all in the next one and today's video has been the go bag 72 hour plus urban suburban rural kit okay or, or for short the go bag 72 hour plus god bless see you all in the next video take care guys